What are you doing? I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. <laughs> uh, what do three squiggly lines mean? It means you should step away before Sarah notices. Okay, so the squiggly lines just flashed red. Is that bad? Yes, actually. What is going on? Vampires? Attacking civilians in Central Park? Well, that means we're up, right? Innocents are in danger. We gotta take care of this right now. Eddie, I agree completely. Ah, oh, first time I've heard that in years. Come on, let's do some lethal protection. Still feels good to be free from the world's control. I can only imagine. Too weak for this fight. Consider it done.
try not to swallow any and you'll be fine. We're not always about eating, you know. Ha! Oh, you meant that? Mother abandoned you. Want me out of the picture. I don't mind you enjoying a little payback. Just remember why you're there. Stop nagging us! We will deal with the problem! Now you are starting to sound like a midnight sun. Uh, I knew I should have kept you two apart. Feel my call. I can handle it. Is it still a legend? If I sent Blade to handle this, he wouldn't have had any trouble. Stop trying to push our buttons. We aren't stupid. Good. Then focus on the mission. 
focus on leaving us alone! No mercy for the servants of the Once again, Lilith's servants fall. done out there. Especially you, Venom. one may choose to save the odd civilian. Contractually, in the fight to end the vampire scourge, the spirit of the intended agreement... Oh, come again. I did not waste my time curing you so you could save superfluous human lives. Yeah, still boring. Do I have your attention now? We all know what you really are. A monster. The only version of you that remotely interests me, and the only reason I allowed this deal. Stop doing that! Oh, I'll stop. But you've earned an object lesson. Vampires are bad for business. Vampires keep souls from flowing to where they're most needed. And with less souls, there are more soulless. Do you understand the lesson? Because it's time for some target practice. So many targets. I just see two of them. Let's see if you can do this properly. I'll give you one chance. We are not your toys. Just kill them all. It's really quite simple.
Return to your mother. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently, she's promiscuous. All who serve Lilith will fall. Not out of this yet. You're so much more efficient without those trifling morals getting in the way. You're just trying to survive your foolish games. Deny it all you like, Hunter. But you're a natural killer. Stop talking at us!
do not stand a chance. Is it still a legend? If it's true. Next time, run while you still can. I had hoped for a challenge. Child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them. Was that truly your best? your home planet yet. time when Lilith had the highest of standards for the minions. That time had clearly passed. disappointed in you. Father running. Your name. 
legacy ends. How embarrassing. He is like a less endearing version of character. So much nagging! had your chance to escape. If I see you again, it will be the last time. You were too weak for this fight. not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Feel my call. outcome. You've earned some small measure of my respect. And I hope learned your lesson. The lesson is, we do not like being in the dark out. Of course you don't. And that burning in your chest, that would be... Uh, indigestion? That would be regret. The most overused human seasoning. Seasoned humans are delicious. Would you? Enough! If you want this so much, stop posturing and tell us where to go. Find what you seek, where it all began. Now, eradicate the vampire threat, or join me in limbo forever. You do not dare! Right, off you go. I don't know why I bother. Strange feeling ever since I made that deal with Mephisto. Probably nothing, right? We all have skeletons in our closet, but Eddie might actually have skeletons in his stomach. Respect.
me get this straight. You made a deal with the devil, and you didn't let me... Do not... I will see if I can find you a treat later. scared of the devil. Then I kind of became one. I mean, <laughs> I'm still scared of the devil. Uh, we're supposed to have shop class tonight, but Robbie... Tony really got under his skin. I've never seen him this mad. Can you help me talk him down? Lead the way. Thanks, Hunter. You've gone too far, Tony! Explain how replacing outdated equipment is a problem. You moved my car! It was in the way, and I moved it back. Ah, uh, crap. All this flashy junk isn't why I'm here. Why any of the rest of us are here. Well, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, then get out of the way. Never meet your heroes. I get it now. I don't know why I thought you could change. Robbie just needs a little space. Let's get started. We don't have much on this saber-tooth guy, but we know he's incredibly dangerous. He's also somewhat predictable. In what way? When it comes to a fight, he's extremely aggressive. Our ideas take advantage of that. What have you cooked up? The initial prototype uses a tailored pheromone to keep him away. It provokes an intense revulsion we hope will blunt his attacks. Like a foul scent used to keep animals at bay? Well put. Our other prototype is... Well, we kept it simple. It's part sedative and part itching powder. To trip him up with a thorn in his paw. A very distracting thorn at that. Thanks for getting me those components. We're good to go. Time to... Uh, Tony. What's up? I think your gearhead pal is still wound up. Uh, okay. Hunter, give me a minute. I want to make sure Robbie's okay. Take your time. I'll assemble the prototype for the Hunter. Oh, I'd prefer to hold off. There are some details I want to go over before we begin. Oh, come on. You've managed so far. How hard can it be for me? Uh, sure. Fine. Before we get started, I've noticed Parker takes twice as long to finish these prototypes than he should. I have some ideas. Give me a minute. You know what? Don't worry about it. I can handle this myself. Okay. Sit back and watch the master at work. You looking for a round two? I don't want to butt heads, but to quote a frenemy, I can do this all day. Tony, I, I don't want to fight you. You were my hero growing up. Kids do love Iron Man. Not Iron Man. You, Tony. The man who could fix any problem with technology. What just happened? Everyone was having a bad night. No. No, I pushed Robbie too hard. Damn it! I treated him like I used to treat Steve. I can fix this. Maybe, but not tonight.
Hey, you mind checking in with Eddie? Whatever happened with Mephisto has him especially bummed. Why not talk to him yourself? Uh, because I want him to cheer up? Of course. I will speak with him. Thanks. Oh, and don't tell him I asked. Wouldn't want to spoil his mood any further. You seem frustrated. If you need to vent, I could hold the punching bag while you hit it. Nah, I can't take everything out on Peter. That is not what I... Yeah, I know what you meant. Sorry, Hunter. Didn't mean to bite your head off. Honestly, I feel like I'm the one who's getting used as a punching bag right now. Mephisto is getting to you? Ha, <laughs> for starters. Yeah, don't forget about Lilith. And with these vampires, feels like everyone's forming a line. That is a lot. Your mother controlled me. She took away my free will. Now Mephisto has me under his thumb. I'm tired of being someone's puppet. You are angry, and you should be. Channel it. Use it to fuel the battles ahead. Yeah, I got no shortage of fuel, so don't worry. But I get your point. My symbiote is a great companion, but makes it hard for me to think straight when I get worked up. You know, I always thought of myself as the lethal protector. I can be the bad guy if it means protecting the innocent, but Mephisto has me all twisted up. It makes me think I can't even do that. Sounds like the only thing left to do is teach Mephisto not to mess with the Midnight Suns. Huh. All right. I can get on board with that. You know, I was, I was actually thinking about that already. You ever heard of the legendary Spear of Perseus? No, not the fabled hero who beheaded Medusa, but the real-life Macedonian king. A book in the library says he possessed a god-forged spear that made him invincible. A son like that might kill Mephisto. If Perseus was invincible, what happened to him? Oh, his territory was eventually conquered by the Romans. But I'm sure that's only because the spear had been stolen before then. You really believe a blade like this still exists? Well, yeah, it's indestructible. It's gotta be somewhere. You should speak to Caretaker or Doctor Strange. I'm sure they could offer details about the spear you would find enlightening. Are you saying that I can't trust my own sources? Those party poopers are just telling me that chasing after the spear is a fool's errand. But, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm taking the screwball approach to things like I always do. But still, I have to do something. Give me some time to think. I can't believe I have to say this. Mephisto is a force of pure mal- Doctor, are you familiar with the Spear of Perseus? Hunter, please. I'm getting a bit old for children's fables, don't you think? Okay, so it is just a story? The Spear isn't a real, magical artifact? <laughs> no, far from it. In fact, the Spear of Perseus is really a misnomer. What do you mean? Well, the Spear of Perseus isn't a physical blade, it's a military tactic. Perseus used to arrange his soldiers into a spear-like formation on the battlefield. That ridiculous legend about a supernatural weapon came centuries later. 
I see. I just talked to Eddie, and he is convinced the spear is real. He hopes to hunt it down to use it against Mephisto. Oh, by the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I hope he enjoys chasing wild geese, because that is what he is about to do. Doctor, knowing Eddie, I worry he might find something that he believes is actually magical. Whatever he finds is all but guaranteed to be a chintzy replica, likely ripped from a museum gift shop. I am sure Mephisto will enjoy using it as a back-scratcher. Indeed. Let's hope Eddie gets bored with this tale before that happens. Anything else on your mind? Thank Sure. You talked to Eddie? How's he doing? We exchanged matching lockets with our photos inside. Aw, I was hoping you and I could do that. I could buy a bigger locket. Nah, three's a crowd. You and I will have to settle for matching tattoos. But seriously, How's he doing? He needs time to recover, but it seems he will be all right. Sure, but how do I put this delicately? I'm concerned his emotions will get the better of him. How so? Well, Eddie was always an emotional tornado, but the symbiote doesn't help. It feeds off his emotions, enhances them. Eddie's feelings are not his own? Oh, they are, but they're... Amplified, sometimes to a dangerous degree. Take it from me, the symbiote can really wind your gears. Eddie will have an easier time taming his impulses if he feels like part of the team. You're right about that. I hope the rest of the team can be patient with him while he adjusts. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him. If he stops acting like the Eddie I know, You'll be the first to hear it. I should have guessed. Guessed what? That you wanted to show me another movie. Oh, not just another movie, my favorite movie. It's something I make all my friends watch with me. What makes this movie stand out from the rest? Watch and see. Why is she wearing that hideous red dress? Tearing me apart, Hunter. Pay attention. It is a bit difficult. This movie is rather terrible. It's called Camp Hunter. It's supposed to be a little bad, but in a good way. Besides, it's a cult classic. Kind of like you. I will try and take that as a compliment. You're really starting to fit in with the rest of us, you know? We might just make a midnight sun out of you yet. Accidents happen. I took care of that for you. Bye. Hydra thinks they're so clever. Just imagine if they actually were. You might be in trouble. 
did you tire of listening to Doctor Strange's stories? The ones where multi-tentacled old ones feasted on cavemen? Nah. Actually, that sounds up my alley. I just needed some fresh air. Plus, Robbie likes to crank the volume on his video games, and I don't like loud noises. Right. Your, uh, costume is sensitive to powerful sonics. You know, it's funny. My other has protected me from so many things over the years. Sometimes pushes away more than just bullets. Maybe you scare a few people, but at least you are protecting them. Dead people cannot say thank you. Honestly, most of the time, the people I save are too scared to say anything. Fear can be incredibly disabling. That's one way to put it. I should probably carry a backpack full of fresh underwear for all the bladders I disable. So your other's appearance is functional, but is it necessary? Maybe not. I'm not the only person who bonded with my symbiote. The suit often changes appearance with each new host. Have you ever considered adopting a new look? I could probably change my appearance, but the truth is, I like being intimidating. It makes me feel powerful. I am learning that the man behind the mask is less intimidating. It sounds a bit like an after-school special, but thanks, Hunter. Just don't tell Parker. Or... actually, don't tell anyone. You and your symbiote have an interesting relationship. It's simultaneously the strangest relationship I've ever had. As well as the most comforting. Thanks for talking about it, Hunter. I don't think everyone inside would take the time to understand how I tick. I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. How's it going, boss? Let me do my... Sometimes... I even impressed myself. more coil, send it my way. Back again. And we didn't think we could get any stronger. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too.
Nothing's gonna stop me now. Can't wait to try this out. Appearance disguises how powerful you are. Are you trying to inflate my ego? Because it's working! I have something for you. Five snarky articles about why New York pizza is better than Chicago deep dish? Components for shop class. Be honest, have I traveled back in time? No, you sent me a message. Right. I set those up before the last meeting. And you got one. So, what should I do with these components? Mm, I can take them. Are you sure? Yeah. If you hand them over, I can get Tony and Robbie talking again. And if not? I'll give them all back. Deal? Agreed. All this excitement has really got me thinking about forming a team of my own. Spider-Man. his companion what you doing Charlie <laughs> hey can I ask a favor <laughs> thanks hunter Ah, I see. Hello, Hunter. Good day, Hunter. I thought I had sensed a great power approaching. And I was right. 